So this is the Canik TP9 um, Elite Combat. Um, completely bone stock, other than I have put a Streamlight TRL8 TLR8 on it. Um, other than that, what I'm attempting to do is put the Burris Fast Fire 3 on it. One thing that I found out was that on their website, it does say that they fit. Um, the TP9s come with these um, brackets, I guess you could call them mounting plates, whatever you want to call them, to put micro red dots on. This little plate here comes off. Um, but while I was doing it, I found an issue that I didn't quite like, but I think I might have figured an end around. Um, just so you know, this was not bought originally for this gun. This was actually bought for a meta, and for anybody wanting to know, no, this will not fit a meta. So, first thing, clear it out. Make everybody nice and happy so it's clear. Do it again. Okay. So the first thing you got to do is take off these screws here. Um, don't ask me what size the Allen wrench is. I have no idea. I just put the one in that fits the best and use that. So one thing you need to pay attention to is there are two little lock washers down in there that you do need to make sure that you keep a hold of and you are going to reuse them. So there they are down in there. Just there. This we're not going to use anymore. You do have to keep these screws. So like I said, this is the plate for um, this particular one. This works for pretty much the majority of most of them. Um, the vortexes and uh, pretty much your I, I would say mid-range ones are going to use this 01 plate there's four of them that come with it so if you have this gun i'm sure you already know that by now so what you do is you line this up just like so there's four holes here that'll have four little deals on it throw your washers back in there and then what i do we get a little bit of blue lock type. Just a tiny little, tiny little dab. Doesn't need much. And you're gonna put the exact same screws that you just pulled out. You're gonna put them back in. Now there is a torque spec, I believe, with this. I've seen some. Um, but I can't find one from Canic that says exactly what it's supposed to be at, but I did find a website that says that they do theirs at 10 inch pounds. The problem is, is the wrench that I have won't fit this small of an Allen screw. So, I'm just gonna have to wing it. 10 inch pounds ain't very much, so don't get crazy with it. So, like I said, Burst Fast Fire 3. I'm gonna make a two and four sure there must be a one in there somewhere pretty straightforward tiny little um, flathead screwdriver to adjust your um, dot up and down left and right it comes with this weird little cover that sits over the top of the battery and then a mounting bracket to put it on so if you want to mount it to like a shotgun or a AR or something like that anything with a picatinny rail you can mount that this straight to that and then just screw it on and then it also comes with these three screws now here's the issue that comes with these three screws these screws are too big that's what she said <laughs> they're supposed to go down in here the thing is, is these are too big so the screws that come with the burrs are a 0.1355 diameter and the ones that fit in these hole are a 0 0.1150. It's not a massive difference, but it's enough of a difference you're not gonna get it in. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but inside here you kind of see these chrome looking uh, sleeves that they've put in there. Believe it or not, this is the exact size of those holes. If they didn't put those sleeves in it, these would fit just fine. The other mounting brackets don't work. They're made for different designs. So here's where my issue come into. What do you do? This is the Canic little toolbox that comes with 
the thing. And what it does is it comes with these two extra screws here um, that are the exact same screws for the mounting plate. The thing is, is down in here, I'm hoping I'll be able to show it to you, but the holes themselves are, I believe what they call countersunk. They have an inward bevel into them. And these two screws here that will work are completely flat across the bottom. And of course the screws that come with the burrs are also have a bevel to them and are to be countersunk. Well, there's some other screws that come with it. There's this longer screw here, um, which has the bevel on it. And there's this shorter screw here that has a bevel on it. Um, so what I ran into was do I put these flat ones in there and know that it's just not sinking the way that it's supposed to? Um, or do I, you know, put it on a different gun or what do I do? <clears throat> so, and then the, I have this countersunk one here that'll work just fine. The problem is it's only one. This short one here is too short. It won't, it won't actually fit. It doesn't hit the threads. So I about got to the point where I was gonna give up. And here's what I found out. If you take your mag release and pull that screw out, it is the exact same size as that one. And the short one does fit just fine. You can see there's probably four or five threads that are gonna be sticking out there. Now just in case, because it's not gonna be as much, I will put I will put a little bit of thread locker. And I tried this out, it works on the small, the medium, and the large. So everybody that, depending on which one you like if, for the mag release, it will work on all of them. But you know, the larger one, of course, you're probably only getting two threads, three threads on it. And the medium, you're probably getting about four threads onto it. And the short one, of course, it, it's got plenty on there. But I like the medium mag release. And like I said, you can look. For a mag release, it's got plenty of threads grabbing onto it. No problem. So, what that does is it gives me my two screws I need to be able to mount um, my bo <laughs> bores, my burrus on to the way that I want. And what it's gonna wind up doing is sinking down into these countersunk holes like the way it's supposed to. Definitely, I, these are a hair bit shorter than these uh, ones that replace these screws here, but I think after they get countersunk, you're probably inside the threads just as far as those would be. Um, but of course, like everything else I do, I'm gonna put a little bit of Loctite on them. To see if that works out or not. So it's got four little holes on each corner. It's got four little tits on the plate. Just sinks right onto it like that. A little bit of blue Loctite. Same deal, I don't find anything that says what these are supposed to be torqued at. So I'm gonna shoot for that 10 inch pounds again. It uses the exact same head as the other one. One of my big complaints about the older Canic stuff is the heads are not very good. So don't get crazy about torquing them because you'll strip them out faster than anything. And it's not just me that thinks that they're, um, don't, that, that the, the heads on all their screws are pretty well crap because this screw here um, that holds the magwell in but also holds the back strap on was stripped out the day I pulled out of the box because I actually want to swap that out to the bigger uh, back strap but I can't because it's stripped out so I gotta figure out something. So the moral of the story is you can fit a Burris Fast Fire 3, I'm sure probably um, the 2 and the 4 and everything else 
are probably the same um, size. The screws here are too big to fit in the bracket for the Canic. Now this is the um, TP9 Combat or Elite Combat. I think the um, the other versions of them are probably all about the same. They probably all have the exact same brackets um, for mounting to the top here. Um, and I'm sure probably more people have run into this, but that was a quick fix that I think will work. Um, not 100 percent sure, but you know, if I blow the thing apart, I'll let you know. If I don't, everything worked just fine.